God will always give us grace. That's a promise in scripture. In 1 Peter 5 verse 5. And if we get grace, we will always have victory over sin. That is Romans 6, 14. It's just like 2 plus 2 is 4. It can never be 5. It can never be 3. It can never be 3.9. Not even 4.01. 2 plus 2 is always 4. More sure than arithmetic is God's promise. God gives his grace to the humble. When grace is upon you, sin shall not rule over you. I thank God that for the day, many, many years after I was converted, when that became real to me, I feel sorry that when I was a young Christian, nobody preached that truth to me. My life could have been better much earlier if I had heard these two simple truths. That the only reason I lose my temper is because I'm not humble. I don't get grace. The only reason I lust with my mind is because I'm not humble. I don't get grace. The only reason I love money and pursue after it is because I don't get grace, because I'm not humble. The only reason I murmur and complain because I don't get grace. The only reason I doubt whether God will take care of me is because I don't get grace. The only reason my children grow wayward is because I didn't have grace to bring them up properly, because I was not humble. Ultimately, everything boils down to the fact we are not humble, therefore we are defeated, and we are most reluctant to acknowledge that. Blessed is the man who is willing to face up to the truth of God's word and say that is right and I'm wrong. I remember a man I met from the villages of India. Uh, is, he was not a believer, he was a nominal Christian. And he came to me in the local language, he asked me, are you also one of those foolish people who believes that the sun is stationary and the earth rotates on its own axis. He said, I believe that the earth goes round the sun. I see it every day. How do I argue with such a man? I'm not better than him, not at all. If I had not studied geography, I would believe the same thing. And if I had lived 800 years ago on this earth, I would have believed the same thing. It's like everybody else on earth. So, I don't despise those who are defeated by sin, never. Because I was defeated by myself. I defeated myself in the years when I did not know the simple truth that two plus two is four. That God always gives grace to the humble. And those who receive grace will always overcome sin. But the moment